Alright, what's up guys? Soda Stalker here for some movie reviews. Got a nice couple of stacks of some movie reviews. My very last movie review of 2020 because today is Wednesday the 30th and tomorrow is New Year's Eve and we'll be kissing 2020 goodbye. And it can't be soon enough, right? It's been one heck of a year. <laughs> so hopefully 2021 will be better. It can't get any worse, you know, can it? Or maybe it could, who knows? Maybe aliens are next. Who knows what's gonna happen? But anyway, hope you guys had a great Christmas holiday weekend. I had a really fun time. Still got my tree up, you know, I always, I always leave that stuff up until like a week after the new year, maybe a week and a half after the new year, and I, and I take it down. I always, always like to keep it up kind of a good while, so if you guys are like that too. But I hope you guys had a great time. I had a fun time, I had my mom over here. I made some ham, I picked up the tamales. Uh, the day before for Christmas Eve with some rice and beans at this really good spot here in town, Las Cuatro's Middle Pass. I, uh, I had to wait like 90 minutes in line for that. So, but it was worth it. Uh, I had to take two trips because uh, the first day I went there, it sold out. And then I had to go there the next day, early in the morning, eight in the morning, Christmas Eve to get the tamales. Well worth it. I still have a few left. And then second set, I made a ham. And then tomorrow for New Year's Eve, I'll probably just have like maybe pizza and some snacks. And Friday for, Christmas, for New Year's Day, I'll have um, I'll have a uh, probably like pasta, like maybe like make some raviolis, sausage, and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what I'm doing. A little rundown right now before I get to the movie reviews. But uh, like I said, let's go down to the reviews right now. I got some really cool stuff I want to talk to you about. I'm gonna start off first with some Arrow Video titles. Then from there, some other companies. So links down below if you want to get these films at and more from the movie companies I have a review for. I got all these copies, uh, promotional copies to review. So hope you guys enjoy these. And if you guys do, give the video a thumbs up and let's get down to the video right now. First up here, we're talking about some Arrow video titles. A few titles right here I want to talk about. I'm talking about this beautiful box set right here. The William Greppe collection. He came from the Swamp set. And this beautiful set got sent to me like over a week and a half ago. And this is available now. And you get seven films on there. I'll take them out and show what it looks like. Get a really cool uh, hardbound book and a poster. And these are just some great fun movies. I don't know if I've seen any of these movies before. When I was watching these, I don't think I've seen them, but there were some really good ones. Like, like just like these, like, if you like schlocky movies, like, like low budget -y drive in movies from like late 60s, early 70s, that's what these are. Like a cult film director, William Greffe. Uh, really good stuff. Like, I, was, like, I watched uh, most of these already. Like, Whiskey Mountain, they came from the swamp. Which is really cool because it's like a, it's like this jellyfish human man, like like a, like a jellyfish man creature that's made by this lab and it kills people. It's like low budget as hell, but it's fun. But it's all the inside contents of this, and it's just a beautiful job. What every video does, they always do a superb job on their releases. And let me show you like real quickly, like the hardbound book. Get the poster. I'll show you that. Get this nice double sided poster. When I put on your wall. And so you get this, he's like from Florida. You feel, they film all these movies in the Everglades down in Florida. And there's like some really cool artwork. I love how it looks. I'll probably hang it up in my bedroom with like a frame maybe. And you get this awesome like hardbound book. Like, you know, nothing cheap. This is some good stuff. You get this great book about the director. That's him right there. And all kinds of like neat pictures about his films and write-ups about how he's like his, his uh, genre of movies inspired different movies like that. It's like they had a, a jellyfish man guy. Look at that, like like a bag on his head. It's like it's low budget stuff, but it's just fun. And very cool, like it looks, it looks, they look amazing on Blu-ray. Really cleaned up nicely. And so there's some cool write-ups on there, some more stuff, you know, different pictures, and all that kind of deal. And the movies come like two movies in one. You get like seven movies. You get a really cool feature length documentary, two hour long documentary about the man himself. Which I'll show a little more detail. Uh, but we can, I can show you right here. Um, you see some of the detail of it, of some of the, of that. So you check that out and there's like, you know, the back of it up there, right up there, the back of the, of the book, of the, uh, box right here. But I show some of the movies and you get this one, a yeah, whiskey mountain that came from the swamp. It actually looks like inside, you get these really cool, so they're all like real feet done, 2k transfers loaded up. Every disc has a ton of features on it, which is amazing. They did this with these kind of movies. They did a really good job. You get two and one on the Blu-ray, and you get a really cool introduction by the director himself for each movie. So he just talks about the movie and that kind of thing. So kind of what you get into for each film. So it's really cool. And you get this one up here, a Sting of Death, and the de that's what it's called, the Jellyfish one, the Sting of Death. That's the one right there, uh, Death of uh, Tartu Double Feature. That's the first one I seen was this one. Really good. And then uh, they're all they're all cool though, like the the Hook Generation. It's like that like Priest which is another title, but it's like this like hippie 
kind of a thing. It's just really strange. I could do drugs and that kind of deal. It's just, it's just really entertaining. <laughs> and so here's the inside of it right here, this one. I love the artwork. I love the cool purple and green, the cool artwork in this thing. And this is just great. This is like the Naked the naked Zoo and uh, Mako, the Jaws of Death double feature. And it's like some good stuff, good alternate versions. All these like have like alternate versions of the movie, alternate endings, uh, commentary track. Like these things are loaded up. So if you like some weird, like low budget movies, you'll definitely like this. And this one right here has the, uh, this is the one that has the, the feature life documentaries on this disc right here. But this is all in all, these are just a great, beautiful set by Arrow Video. If you're looking for this kind of stuff, available now, I highly recommend it. If you like kind of weird, drive-in, schlocky movies, you'll definitely get a kick out of this set. It's, it's awesome. All right, next up here is this interesting, like, like post-apocalyptic musical punk rock Japanese movie. In a sense, hard to explain what it is, but it's really cool. This one directed by uh, Soju Ishii. This is Burst a City right here. Filmed the early 90s, like late 80s, early 90s. Has a lot of cool like Japanese punk rock bands. And it's like post-apocalyptic Mad Max sort of environment. And with like, pretty much like, the, the, like these, we got these bands playing too. Like they've got this punk rock show, these bands are playing. And the music goes with what's going on in the footage. So it's like a weird like visual musical post-apocalyptic musical with, a, with an interesting storyline about the, these punkers uh, kind of like doing you know, anarchy against the rich and the Kuza and organized crime and all that kind of thing up in this set. It's just an interesting movie is this one. Uh, definitely did not expect, I have no idea what this even was until I got it. And but it was actually, actually, actually a pretty cool flick. Here's the inside contents of it right up here. And I'll show you the book like this great little book like I have idea what it's like. But we so said if you were to like interesting like post-apocalyptic type of like almost like a musical but like a punk rock musical uh, that's what kind of what this is in a way hard to explain what it is it's like its own entity and there's like some of the you know the bands playing on stage and performing just really cool really fun one like say if you're at a, a friend's house or you're having like a little kickback you know you're not supposed to be doing that this time if you're with like a few friends everything's safe you pop this on and it's like some really good background is this like you can just have this with some beers and have a good time with this in the back. There's some really cool music in this thing. Really cool uh, Japanese punk rock music. And they got a cool like commentary behind the scenes, some extra footage of it and trailer. But yeah, it's a really neat one. Love the artwork too. But if you're into like if you're into like Mad Max movies or like lost Japanese type interesting like sci-fi post-apocalyptic movies, you'll definitely get a kick out of this. It's something definitely unique and very very cool. And next up here, this last one from Arrow Video, speaking of sci-fi, is this one called Silent Running. Classic film. I believe I've seen it like part of it one time a long time ago. It was my very first time checking it out all the way through. And it looks amazing on the, the transfer. It looks so good. It sounds so good. And it's really deep movie. Uh, really good stuff. And it's a neat movie about these uh, about these three, three or four men. They're in space. There's this one guy. He's like been there for like eight years in space. It's like the future, and the Earth is like a mess. And he's trying to, you know, they're growing like these this biodome forests, these different pods. And they're growing like different, like one's a desert, one's a forest, and there's different kinds of stuff of environments he's grown. But then they're getting orders from Earth to uh, blow these pods up in a nuclear explosion, and to come back to Earth, and Earth is like a mess. So the one guy doesn't want to do that because he loves. The creeks is like there's like animals there, and he, he's, he grew this forest, and, and it's like really deep. And then like he has a, a plan where he just um, the, the guys he's, the guys he's with don't really believe in what he's doing. This guy right here don't believe in it, and so they, he just has a plan to like get rid of them. And he has these three robots, and they're like almost like his human companions are these robots and the trees and himself and his mind. And things don't really, and, and, his, and then he's like by himself in there, in space. He is, you know, he's like just by himself. The, the people from Earth, they can't contact him. He's way off past, he's way off in space, like past, say, he's way out there. And so he's kind of with himself, but things don't go how he kind of sees it. And this is really, I don't want to get into it too much more, but it's really deep though. Really good movie, very thought provoking, especially nowadays with stuff going on. It's a very good movie. Great classic film as this. Kind of sad too with the song in there. It's like, make it, put a tear in your eye. It definitely can, but it's a really well made movie. Definitely good. And I'll show you the inside, what it looks like real quick. And there's like the classic cover of it, what it was before. It's a classic. Remember seeing this on VHS, the cover? And so you get a lot of features. You get a commentary track by the writers, cool uh, director interview, and all kinds of neat things up in this set. 
And there's the inside of it right over there. And you also got like a little booklet with uh, the movie itself, as Zero Video always does, of different, you know, pictures and that kind of thing about it. But it's a really good uh, deep science fiction movie. It sounds great. I had it on my uh, sound bar. It's a surround sound. It sounds really good. Pictures, fantastic. Cleaned up. It looks like a great one to have in the collection. So if you're a fan of like old sci-fi movies, you've never seen this one before. If you're a fan of like 2001 Space Odyssey, that kind of deal, you'll definitely get a kick out of Silent Running. It's really, really good. All right, next up here, we're talking about some films from Mill Creek Entertainment. Got a boatload of stuff from them that they have in for review. And then later on, after I'm done, I'm going to mention something really cool about Mill, Mill Creek, about, about what's getting released in March. Really cool information right there. But anyway, so check, check, check out these really cool titles. Like These ones are fun. Like I'll show you guys real quick. Check these out. These cool Blu-rays. they got the VHS-looking coverage. you got Blind Fury. You have The Freshman and like Father Like Son. And these really neat-looking VHS covers. I love these ones. I love how these look. These are great classic like 80s movies. I think this one's like 1990. And just all around fun movies. Like I said, I haven't seen this one in a long time. Blind Fury, uh, Fury with Rudiger Hauer. This one's just great. It has him. He's like a uh, Vietnam War veteran, but he got blinded in war. And he's been he's trained by uh, the people of the, of the Vietnam of like of different like uh, martial arts techniques because he's blind. So he has a real keen sense now of like smell and hearing because he's blind. So he goes back to him, he goes to America years later to go try to see his friend that helped him out in Vietnam. His friend's in trouble, who's played by the guy that, that was the stepfather killer. He was played by the, I forget his name, but he's played by him. And um, might be right here his name. Yeah, Terrence O'Quinn, the stepfather guy. He's like, like a good guy in this thing, like a scientist dude. And he's being held by this, this organized crime group to do stuff for them illegally. So, but he finds out, and he has to like save his son. That's because like, they want to kidnap his son for like ransom. So there's all these like cool like martial arts things, some comedy in there. Really cool like sword fights of him like Rugger Howard's like this uh, blind guy, and it's just pretty good. Pretty not like crazy gore, but that's like like pretty cool ass stuff. Like arms getting cut off and you know sliced up bloody parts everywhere. It's just it's pretty cool movies. This one, Blind Fury, definitely definitely recommend that. And this one's just I always love this movie. It has like like father like son with Dudley Moore and Kirk Cameron. Interesting movie. This is like a time when that other movie was like Vice Versa came out too with Fred Savage and Judge Reinhold. But I think they came out at the same time or roughly where like the father son, they switched places. Like this happened here. Like uh, Dudley Moore is like this uh, surgeon and his son's like this, you know, like a high school student. And then somehow they, they just switch places. Like Kirk Cummins, Kirk Cameron becomes his dad and vice, and vice versa. And like they try to find a way to get back into his bodies. It's so weird, but it's great fun as this one. Really good stuff. There's one part towards the end of the movie where Dudley Moore eats a McDonald's cheeseburger. I don't know. I just remember that part. He just kind of grabs it and eats it because he's like so hungry. Kind of makes me laugh. I don't know why I always remember that part in this movie. But yeah, <laughs> but a good one right here is that. And this one's uh, real fun. I haven't, watched, I haven't watched this one in a long time. That is The Freshman with Marlon Brando, with, with Marlon Brando and Matthew Broderick. And Matthew Broderick is his freshman college student going to New York, but then he gets robbed by this con artist cab driver guy. He's not a cab driver. And then doing so, he finds, he meets up with him, the guy that robbed him. He's like, give me my money, give me my stuff. And the guy doesn't have it. So he has a job off for him working for Marlon Brando, who is like this organized crime guy, but it's like has something to do with the Komodo dragon. And he gets involved with his daughter. And like the FBI wants to get involved with Matthew Broward to rat on him, but then he doesn't want to because he starts to like him a lot. So he's kind of this mixed love affair. He's also a film student at this college, so like N NYU University. So it's just a pretty cool film. It's just kind of like a mix between like The Godfather meets, I don't know, meets, uh, shoot, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Sort of, but not really. In a weird way is this. Good fun is that one. Definitely uh, recommend these ones. And plus the covers look really cool. Like look like just VHS taste, but they're all Blu-ray. No extras on these, but they look really good and they sound really good on Blu-ray are these uh, ones right here from the Mill Creek line. And then next up here, also from Mill Creek, I got two editions of this of this series right here. And we have the, uh, the Blu-ray, regular Blu-ray set of Ultraman uh, season six. And you also have the um, number six and you got the Ultraman Steel book right here, look real quick. Both the same thing, but one's the regular edition, as I'll show in a bit, and one's the Steel book edition. Really cool, they sent me this way to check out. Great fun shows is the Ultraman series. Really good fun. I'm sure what this one looks like real quick, and these are available now uh, to buy. 
And this also comes with like a nice booklet, which I have the other series of all these. What's cool about these is that they got all the different episodes. So you can like see them and kind of know what you're getting into before you want to watch in case you want to watch a particular one and tell you some of the monsters' names and all that kind of deal. And inside here, you get the digital code copy of it and you got all the Blu-rays individually packed on the set here. So I like that, how they're just, you know, in there are nicely individually done. Great set, here's some more artwork of it. Here's the, uh, the back of it. And here is the front and the spine right up there. But yeah, really cool. So you want the regular Blu-ray of this. And then you get the special edition collector's edition still book, which just has a nice hefty weight to it. And so you take that off, get this little slip sleeve, and get this really cool artwork. You also get the same booklet like they had with the regular edition of it right there. And here's like the back of it. Really nice how that looks. And then you have, that's the spine. And I'll open that up real quickly for you guys so you guys can check it out. And it looks really cool. Here it is all there, all the discs in there in case you want this set. These are all like, it's like a deep inset set. So you kind of just take them out like this and they kind of pop out and they're like, you no know, individually in there. So it's really cool how they do it. And there's like, you know, just like that. And you get some artwork in there up in the back, some Ultraman on a ship and just kind of pop them in like this. So they don't touch each other and it's like, you know, easily organized. So in case you want, like you're looking for like the, the steel book edition of it, it's available now. And you also have the standalone Blu-ray set edition of it too, but really cool, fun show, Ultraman. I love these shows. They're like, it's like, it's just, before, my, before Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you had Ultraman, kind of like a mix between Godzilla and a giant, giant robot that just attacks people and like they just fight and stuff. It's just really cool to save the earth. Just super fun series is the Ultraman series. There's like a lot of these too. I'm so happy these are out. They look really great on Blu-ray. They're just like really good job. But it's like fun stuff as, as these. All right, some other films from Mill Creek I'm gonna talk about real quickly right now. And that is with these right up here. We got the, uh, this one's like, a, it's this comedy called Accepted. Definitely from the makers of American Pie. And it has, uh, what's his name in it? Um, Justin Long. And it's like they're in this college, you know, just it's like a typical like college comedy thing and all that kind of deal. And it's, it's all right. It's kind of fun, a little goofy, but it's just okay. It's accepted. You also get this one, which is, this is a really good one, is um, Your Highness. This is like a fun one. Almost like a like a Robin Hood type thing with, you know, Danny McBride, James Franco. Excuse me, N N Natalie Portman. That's a fun one on Blu-ray. I think oh, this is the first time it's on, been on Blu-ray. It might be, but it's the underrated cut of it. So it's really cool. Definitely a fun one is this. Great comedy. You also get like a, a cast commentary on this thing, which is really funny. And show the inside contents of it. Just got like with the disc in there. But it's definitely a fun one is this. I definitely like this one. It kind of, it's like a, sort of like a Pineapple Express movie, but like Robin Hood style. And then you get these ones up here on DVD. Four movies each. You get the four comedy favorites. These ones have You, Me, and Dupree. Because I said so. The Wedding Date. And Head Over Heels. And this set up here, you have these different uh, like corruption stories. So you have 21 Grams. It's a really good movie. You have Breach, The American, and The Constant Gardener. These are on DVD. These are available now, too, from Mill Creek. And speaking of Mill Creek, I said earlier, this March, they're going to be putting out Rad on Steelbook. How cool is that? In case you missed out on the Vinegar Syndrome sold out edition of Rad, it was on Blu-ray 4K. It's now, I didn't even expect it. It's actually come out in March. So if you want to buy this awesome-looking Steelbook of the movie Rad on Blu-ray, it's going to come out early March from Mill Creek Entertainment. I cannot wait. I, I'm so stoked about that. I was like, wow, that's so cool. Just kind of throwing that out there in case you guys didn't hear about that. Look out for that in a couple months. I can't wait to get that to review. Can't wait. To, oh my God, I'm excited about that. Yeah, so Miss on Rad, which I miss on Rad. Um, yeah, it's gonna be available for everyone to pick up in a couple of months or so, a few months from now. I can't wait. A couple other movies right here I'm gonna talk about. Uh, one I bought from Vinegar Syndrome because I didn't get it to review because I wasn't sure. And this is uh, The Fate of Black because sometimes like during the the Black Friday sales, I always get, I always get a lot of stuff from them for review for free from Vinegar Syndrome. But sometimes during the Black Friday sales, they don't send out copies because their website's down for a good month or two. Only It's only like up for like a couple of days for Black Friday. And after that, it's down for like the holidays and it comes back up again. Then I'll probably get a review copy, maybe of this, probably next week or maybe some other stuff too. So I got this in their Black Friday sale, which is really cool. I love this movie. Fade to Black, Dennis Christopher, he plays like this like psychotic, he works at a movie theater and he's like this multiple personality disorder kind of thing where he, he kind of gets some really impressionable by different like horror actors and horror things. A really good job, I love this. I just wanna talk to you about this real quick in case you're curious what it looks like. And this is a fantastic um, movie up here, fantastic. So you get a great commentary track with Dennis Christopher himself. He's on the commentary track 
doing a commentary. It looks amazing, amazing scan of the movie. It looks so, so superb. And here's the inside contents. You can also see what it looks like. You can also kind of flip open the um, cover art in case. I just got the alternate cover art. I looks like I got the original cover art on this, which I'm gonna keep like that. But this is a great set game behind the scenes. I'll show you real quick. Behind the scenes, trailers, interviews, all that loaded up on here. So in case you're thinking about getting this when the site's back up again to get this, I think it's still available. I don't think it's sold out. But if you're thinking about getting this, definitely highly recommend it. Great horror movie from like the early 80s. I think it came out like 1980. Yeah, 1980. And it's a great one for the collection. I'm so happy and they did an amazing job, Vinegar Syndrome, uh, with this. I just love that cover art. Great story, good acting, good atmosphere is this. Definitely a classic slasher flick is this one to have. Last but not least, a movie, like a, like a, like a play actually, a live theater production with this right here from all the films. That is Nelson Algren Live. And this right here is pretty because it has like this, um, Nelson Algren was a novelist in the you know 20th century, he wrote these different books, like this one he's known for, The Man with the Golden Arm. And it's being told in a live play production with um, Willem Dafoe, Barry Gifford, and Martha Levy, and there's other actors too. They do like this live production reading of some of his pieces from his books he's wrote. It's really cool. I didn't know what to really expect from this, but I took a chance on it for review, and it's really good. Like if you're into like theater type acting type deep productions and stuff, and maybe kind of get a good study if you're an actor, and it was kind of like dialogue, and if you're into that, like different deep writings, you'll definitely get a kick out of this. It's really good. And it says like, it just looks, it's like fucking black and white. It's different in color too. It's like a mixture of the different scenes they're doing and portraying. And it's like a really cool, like little booklet of it right up here. But it's like really neat, interesting read. I mean, not interesting read, interesting watch was this. I'm thinking about reading because they're doing a reading through that live reading, but it's really good. And I'm definitely gonna kick out, Willem Dafoe, awesome actor. Did a great job doing this. I never really heard of this novelist. I think I heard the name before, the novelist of this, uh, what's his name? Nelson Algren, but I never really knew, knew much about him. But it's really neat to know more about him and to watch this was really, really cool. All right, that's it for my reviews right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 15,000. Getting there, getting there, slowly but surely getting there. So let's try to get that right there and go on and beyond and beyond and beyond and beyond and beyond like that. Always love all you guys' support. Thank you so much for watching my videos throughout the years and coming up in the new year. And hope you guys continue to do so, that kind of deal. But if you guys are interested in these movies I talked about, links down below if you guys want to get these titles that I talked about and more. You guys have a great, safe, happy new year. In case I don't do it, I might, I might do a live stream maybe later on or tomorrow. We'll see on New Year's Eve. I don't know yet. But if I don't, I'll see you guys next year for more videos coming up, all kinds of stuff I want to do. So look out for that. And then more movie reviews. And you guys have a great new year. Hopefully 2021 is a lot better than 2020. It has to be, right? Let's go 2021, 2021. Yes, bring it on. Bring it on, baby. We are ready for you. Have a good one. We'll catch you later then. See ya.